God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But the generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will all know in Jesus. You want the generation. We offer you on. Let the waitings come to an end. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In four minutes, can you make known unto the Lord your expectation? You can play you can pray with your understanding, and you can also pray with new tongues. We just want to ascertain the reality of sexual interaction. So you can connect with Jesus. You can connect with Jesus. Varash desikito shatakis Kempos kafashanda lifas katabinato shaita Baravidiskes vekasus devenaste sutiata stavas Bailu satom brasefe fantosi sama montaba Lepaposen sento de silama pambresto sufitanatos Sian bantoska babim barado le sistama my papa santo pindra bros de sufan palatos anotel le mosambra sufan de beleshita batai keep going keep going until you have become sure that you have come to a place of meeting kiba mamba bos kaba belatu santa ta ban belandotia sama Bran sovante sante babavi santa bambotale Baito me santa bilantai balat sota rante la bashata Ay kakapa bimba kwa kakato sama Maika beskambe batoriaska Rasto sato tanta samima Mamba bos endata bilantabai Maiko mba kata me sambi moria kata Rasto tasus Ay babo katamba bisanta Akata be baba baba temos kamba diataros Ronde babon suntete Emambo hote lataba Kai baba sante kumbi abasata Infanda konde kata Randa bebo katosa Bionte me kome me tambe salabata from the many places from which we from whence we have gathered we are brought unto you let there be a catching up tonight let there be a catching up tonight let our spirits come into the place where light dwells Oh, sabe bebe la ta, akapi bo braste tubo, bambe ya ba ba baraso mitolia, reba kos entombe, bai babanda melakabas. Oh, Jesus, keromos kabaratates, lepa mi imrasutaba. Bye, Babo, the Kaba de Baskata. So we seek Hallelujah to the Lord. We sing Hallelujah to the Lord. We sing hallelujah to the Lord. We sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to 
of their experiences in iniquity because of their experiences in transgression have begun to doubt that they are numbered in God's company that he calls this season the company of his battle axes or his weapons of war you feel that you have seen the way your place you feel that you have struggled and that these utterances that we bring from the Lord have nothing to do with you. God sent me to tell you tonight that you are accepted. As many as have come in sincere repentance, as many who in sorrow have approached unto the one who forgives, he told me to tell you that you are accepted. That your place is not taken and that he who is the God of a second chance will visit you with fresh instructions will visit you with a new mandate and will return to you in a new anointing that's what he said to me this afternoon I know that the speakings of the enemy have become loud over time to disqualify from fellowship to disqualify from prayers from fastings from the study of the word but God said tell them that they are mine they are mine and we give you praise and glory tonight we come accepting that we have been accepted and that what you began to do with us you are still committed to do that our places are untaken and that your willingness to restart with us or to restart captures us you had us in mind and we give you praise father tonight we journey in confidence we journey in the consciousness of our choice or of our being chosen we celebrate your choice and we agree that you can burden us with the demands of this new season thank you father in Jesus name we have prayed you may be seated it's your key I don't know if I can sing on it thank you 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If that word was for you, can you just spend a minute to appreciate? Just appreciate. There's a sound that you have been disqualified, that you have been hearing. And tonight he's saying that he has accepted you. I, I want you to just, I don't know why I'm staying here, but I heard him clearly. He said, tell them I've accepted them. Tell them that they are mine and that my choice still has them in view. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You split the seed so I can walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. Oh, Sapa Binascode Avatar. You rescued me so I, I said, sit down, sing. Three more times. You split verses. You split verses all I could. My feet are drowning perfect love. You rescued me. You rescued me so I think those who are singing in the choir don't fall into that uh, space. So, so the people who are singing, they don't, they don't fall into that um, that set of people. You know, when everybody is singing, in the cross be my glory ever. To some people, it's a hymn. The people who know that the cross has taken everything away from them, there's a way they sing, right? So maybe you give Is there anybody who feels that that is their song They can collect the microphone It's like well, for Anybody You had thoughts recently That your place has been lost And Jesus is saying tonight That he has found you Yes those are the ones that should sing So we'll do that song three times And then I'll begin to join you. Can we go sir? Are you two or I should call somebody else. Okay. You can sing with us. It's not a special number. Just for those who have been hearing those strange sounds.
Say it. Let the devil hear that you know you are a child of God. I to Jesus. The love that keeps coming back. We are here because Lord you have not stopped coming. Even when we did not know the way back to you. You came hounding. Oh, thank you for the love that saves and still saves, for the hand that holds and keeps. And all the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. All oh, it chases me down, fights till I find, leaves the night in Save it. 
Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Give it all, Kiyata Namabo Mosa. Santi Kome Babrante Sufi. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You may please be seated if you can. The hardness of God and the rejection of God are not the same thing. Are not the same thing. I need to say that again so that someone can understand that the hardness of God and the rejection of God are not the same thing. The hardness of God is one of the facilities that God puts in place in the day that he becomes desperate to recover. Yes. He throws everything at his son. So the Bible says to us, my son despise not the chastenings of the Lord. So when it comes hard, it's because he has become desperate. He has become desperate. The Christ died for something. And God is still convinced that what Jesus died for, he can get. He has not given up. He understands that by that great confession. And when I speak of the great confession... I speak concerning that which is captured in Romans chapter 10 from verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It looks simple but it's great. Because there are no two ways of coming into the economy of God. It's by that confession. Now, some people think that once that confession is made, God has gotten what he wants. It's a lie. Because what that confession does is that it gives God the privilege to begin to walk. For many, it's not even in understanding. But it is the gift of half a chance to God to begin to do something with our lives. And every time you want to back out, the Holy Spirit, whose first major manifestation is as the Spirit of the Lord, comes back to remind you that you have called Jesus Lord. So you have given him room to walk in your life. Are you with me? Tonight I trust the Lord that will join in understand. Yes. That his hardness does not mean that you have been replaced. It just means that he has no options. Imagine if you have only one white shirt. And there's this August meeting that you're supposed to go for. And the dress code is white on black. You have one white shirt, one black shirt. And as you begin to iron your shirt, a stain hits it at the chest region. What would you do? It may be 15 minutes to time, but you begin to operate with the belief that that shirt can be washed and that it can dry. You will not know how creative you are. That it's possible to wash a shirt and look for a towel and then invite your friend. How many people know that thing? You put the cloth inside the towel and then you begin to squeeze that after a while, every drop of water is gone. You can handle now. Your hardness on the garment is because of your belief that after this garment, no other will fit in. So God comes like that too. He's a God of love. And every time you want to walk away, He makes you understand that His love at work, He has no options. Maybe some of us have not arrived at that point. It's, it's not something that I glory in. 
But I found out that the dealings of God over my life prove that God has chosen me for certain things as his only option. And so, because I have repeatedly called him Lord, he seemingly has, seemingly, he actually has all the rights to make sure that I become what he wants me to be. It's not everybody that still has a choice. If you have signed it off, God will remember. One of the secrets of continue, of continued relevance is that you consciously make God know that you have lost the capacity to make a choice outside him. So that every choice you make for yourself is invalidated by the original covenant you have made. I choose you and no other. So anything you choose outside him, he now has the right to nullify your choice. Until you get to an end of yourself and then you begin to live by a will and not by choice. One of my assignments tonight is to advertise to you what the will of God looks like. When the Bible from the lips of Paul the apostle begins to bring to us or bring us into the understanding of the dynamics of our redemption he says something like he were bought with a price I know people say that salvation is free but that statement from Paul shows that a price was paid the only thing is that it was not you that paid the price but nonetheless a price was paid and at the payment of that price there was a transfer of ownership you are not of yourselves you don't own yourself the earlier you wake up to that reality the more peaceful your life will be when you begin to live contrary to the will of the one that paid your price your life becomes chaotic and if God is the one rocking your boat who do you want to run to hmm? can you pray to use God against God if the one that can save you is the one that is doing you you understand me who do you want to pray to even if you recruit the devil into that kind of venture that God is attacking me help me the enemy will remind you, you that it was the same person that he didn't need God I didn't need God to be driven out of where I was because God was not part of that battle God just deployed one of the angels Michael and his angels say take that guy out there is nobody in our universe that can undo the dealings of God except the man himself by choice but when you are seated away your power to make a choice you are at the mercy of the workings of God and it's a good place to be that's why he keeps coming and he keeps coming when he comes in bible study and you don't hear he allows you to walk on the road and then somebody says something that makes you remember that this is what you really are. And if he finds out that in your, you are too busy, he climbs into your dream and then he begins to use your dream to speak to you. Ha! Ah, he can't remember his dream. But he likes movies. One day you will watch, you will watch the movie that will bring conviction. It's a secular movie. But you will remember that your father calls you. My cry to the Lord is that in this day when you hear his voice he will not harden your heart. God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But a generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia tabo Meka baba kamande kaidatos We will hold nothing Jesus You want a generation We offer you on Let the waitings come to an end